Okay guys, we're going down to London. I've got something important to talk to you about while we do. So it is a big day in the UK today. If you're into football, it's the FA Cup final. If you're into the Royal Family, then Harry and Meghan are getting married. But I'm down in London because my cousin's having her birthday party and I'm going to that. And I'm gonna to talk to you as we travel. <laughs> So I might know a bit about composing, but I don't know very much at all about making films. And one of the interesting things about making this vlog is that it gives me a chance to think more about ways I compose and the ways in which making film and composing are similar. And one of the things I've noticed about recent episodes is I've been trying to get my quality of filming really high, trying to get really nice shots, trying to get better at my sort of film camera technique. And one of the things that's led to, I've found, is that the last few episodes have become quite sort of carefully wrought and some of the sort of freedom that I had earlier on in the vlogs is beginning to go. Our train has got... But apparently there's another one coming. So I'm at Cambridge, not at London yet. And I was thinking how it's a bit like sometimes in composing, that I do very detailed work sometimes. You know, the equivalent of setting up a shot really carefully is, I suppose, writing one bar, full score, full orchestra, really carefully. And that can be great, but unfortunately it can mean that you lose sight of the overall structure or that you get so bogged down in the detail and so bogged down in the perfection that uh, you lose the kind of overall sense of things. And there's a kind of a visual arts analogy as well, because if you're painting with a very narrow paintbrush, it's a bit like doing the very detailed careful shots or doing the very detailed composing work. These are all kinds of very precise, careful ways of working. Um, I need to remember where my cousin lives. So I was thinking for this vlog, I'm going to try and do something very different. I'm going to try and go back to the kind of more imprecise, rough and ready style that I did before. Because I think it actually can be very liberating to change the way you work. And it's the same with composing. Sometimes you want to work with a very fine brush. You want to work on one bar at a time. Sometimes you want to do very kind of broad brush stuff. You want to use a bigger brush. You want to change the way you compose because it creates a different outcome for your composing. Okay, we're nearly there, but before I go in, I just want to say, I think there's different ways of composing. I think if you find yourself doing a lot of very detailed work, like focusing on one bar at a time, focusing on very sort of precise instrumentation, you might want to think about doing something very kind of rough and ready. Why not try sketch out the whole piece in an hour, doing short score, maybe one stave, whatever. Just get something down and then try and fill in the detail later on. And the same way in this vlog, I've not used a tripod, I've not set up shots very carefully, I've just basically got it set as a point and shoot today. The point I want to make is change the paintbrush that you use, change the setup, change the way you create, because the way you create will affect the thing you create. Don't just always write the same piece the same way, because otherwise they'll all come out the same. Okay, time to go to this party. I don't know if she's going to want me to vlog there, so I think we're going to stop the vlog at the beginning of the party. Bye. 